welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little bit of talking about some makeup that I still enjoy throughout the time. High-end makeup that, you know, I'm waiting and loving and still enjoying being my collection and all of that. So let's go into the primer. I, a while back, got the Huda Beauty um, water gel primer. I love this primer. Like I said in my videos, I had this my first try on, my haul that I was in. It's really gel like and really water like. Now I know it's a weird combo, but it is very lightweight, very, it's easy to sneak in, sink in, and it gives you that high drain type feeling. Not to where you look oily or greasy, but where you look like your skin is perked up and hydrated and plumped and all of that. So as you can see, I've used quite a bit. It's a very, like I said, watery type texture. It smells like alcohol in a way, but it gives you that amazing hydrating feeling. And you can see, I just love it. I mean, I'm going to be keep this out because now with fall coming soon, I'm going to need something that is more hydrating, something that is... And actually, my face has been doing really good lately. I don't know why, but I haven't really been feeling that oily. I have my oils have not really been coming out, which I'm kind of shocked. Because usually by the middle of summer, I'm like sweating my butt off, my oils are coming out, I'm looking greasy a lot, it's just like, but my skin, thank God, which I'm praying to God this, that, I don't know what's going on, but my skin, I feel like it's changing to where it now feel like it's being more combo and less oily, and I feel like I'm getting that combo because when I put on hydrating stuff, it's like my skin looks a lot better. I don't know if I'm constantly out of the heat. I don't know if I'm constantly out working and stuff like that. And my skin just needs that hydration and needs that kick of moisturizer. But yeah, I'm loving it. And this is like literally a glow and my skin feels amazing. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping, I'm kind of scared when fall comes, that I might end up um, being more dry than usual, and less combo, tiny bit oily, so we'll see what it brings. But yeah, I put this on and I'm realizing how much I do like that texture. I like the way my skin looks. Some of this is highlight, so some of this is hydration I because I did actually um, prep my skin also so yeah My allergies have been active lately a lot too. Okay, next for the foundation, I really do enjoy this still. This is a one size turn up the base BBB Cream Beauty Blow Balm. This came out this year. I bought it. I got it in light neutral. It's actually a good color for me now that I got some color. But I'm sure it's going to be a little too dark when winter comes. But this is not a very drying matte BB cream. I love it. It is lightweight. I feel like it gives me that smooth base. But again, I still have that hydration from the primer. And I really do like it still. So, yeah. I have hardly any high-end foundations, which I'm kind of shocked. I am mostly drugstore. So... Yeah, I'm also still loving 
and I realize how much I really do love the Fenty Beauty. This is the small one in the Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have mine is butter and then I have no one in pound cake or buttermilk. Let me see. I have two of these because I did bought these a while back. So oh yeah, I have this one in banana. So I have two that is very beautiful. It gave me this nice fresh look. It does not make me look mad. It gave me that nice soft focus. And I really do enjoy it. I don't feel like my face is too matte. I don't feel like it's too dry. It's a very smooth type powder. And I still enjoy this even after having this all these years. This one look like. They have two shades. They say the um, butter one is for underneath the eyes. And the banana one is for all over the face. I just like using translucent white powder that is not cast and not give me a cast or anything like that but like I said it's a very smooth and even now loving it for the bronzer I have to use this again and keep using it this is the Nubla Skin Bronzing Sun Kiss Effect and again it's giving me that beautiful glow and it's in it's what it look like as you can see but it's still their very smooth type one. It gives me that beautiful glow. Great color. Blends easily. I have to keep using it. It is one of my own type of ones I had when I first got it. I kind of tucked it back and then the LYS became my favorite one. And then, you know, for that with the butter bronzer. So, I have to keep using this. Another one when it comes to powder is the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I got this underneath my eyes and again it's a very beautiful one. I saw people hit pan on this because they love it that much. And I know there's a dupe for it. And I have my Shamia Mia 3. I know there's a dupe for it. As you can see, it's like right above there. Um, it's the number seven one, which I kind of want to get that and see if that is a dupe. A lot of people say it is a perfect dupe. It's less expensive. But I really do like this when it comes to high end. Again, I've been using it for a while and I'm like, hey, this is a good powder. Need to keep using it. Also love my Buxom Primer Fuse blush. This is a very... And I have this on my cheeks. Very pigmented. It gives you that pigmented type color. But also, it stays on for a really long time because of the fuse. It gives you like a tiny bit of glow also. But I love Bucks and Blushum. They're great. They're beautiful. For highlight, which is what you've seen here and here. Which... Again, I need to keep using this. This is the most beautiful highlight that I discover again and have used it. It is from Lori Mercier. It is their um, Matte Radiant Bake Powder in Highlight 1. Oh my god. It is the beautiful highlight that gives you that glow of all time, as you can see. And again, another product I need to keep using. I put these on today and I'm like, wow, I need to talk about them again. I need to tell anyone, hey, just because you got new stuff in your collection doesn't mean your old stuff is bad. Doesn't mean your old stuff went away. It just means that you need to use your old stuff because you never know. You might fall back in love with that and you might want to keep using it. And I saw and it's like, I love the way my face is looking. I love everything about it. I love my makeup. It just, everything I decide to put on today just makes me realize I need to use this stuff over and over. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about, of course, and I 
Charles Tillsbury Airbrush Fineless. This is beautiful as what I sprayed on my face. It has a beautiful mist. I love the smell. I have the mini size. I'm halfway done with it and I get it to you once I get done with this. I'm going to want to leave by it because this is like the Conic Eye Classic spray of all time. So, people love this. I love it. And now he's going to buy this year because I want to know why people are talking about why they're saying such amazing things. And, well, I get it. It is as good, like I said, when I first talked about this, my Malai same uh, Milani make it last you guys know that's my holy grown one for the drugstore this is literally my holy grown one for the high end and yeah I've been in I love it I use it all the time another one Beauty Beauty this is what on my lips well the lip gloss of it the lip balm of it this is the Beauty Beauty Silky Balm Rose Quartz that came with the palette. I don't have the palette on my eye, but I have the lip product on me along with other lip products. Again, this is a very beautiful, silky, balmy, and it's what it looks like. It's right there, and it's very smooth, non sticky, and it gives you color a little tint. And I love Huda Beauty, I love the stuff. I love the eye stuff, the lip stuff. I mean, I've got so much stuff on Huda Beauty that I've been, like, again. But what's actually on my lips is the uh, Path McGrath Soft Core, a Soft Core um, Matte Chan Lipstick. I love this. As you can see, far I am. This is the most beautiful type lip product and it's very smooth very creamy very pigmented it's great for summer it actually look good with this eye look that I have on and everything like I said in all my videos will be down below in the description box so don't forget to check that out for you guys leave so don't forget to do that all that one more thing that I've been still using since I got it has been the ABH Magic Touch Casillo in 4 I this is what it looked like. I've used again a lot. I have this in my eye. You can see Holly increases, blends out beautifully. I love the shade. the hell? Sorry. That checks. That was weird. But anyways, I love that. That is beautifully. So, that is everything I'm still using, still loving, still enjoying from day one and probably will not stop using until this stuff is completely gone so if you guys enjoy these type of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below what you've been using for the very beginning what have you still been loving no matter if you collection for a long time no matter if it's recent or uh, something you just bought you know tell me what you've been enjoying and what I should try I am gonna do a like I said a try on new makeup I get paid three times in September, so my last paycheck will be going towards that. I'm so excited to get some new makeup, to test new makeup, to try new makeup, and to see what's out there. I've saw so much YouTube people trying them, talking about them, loving them, and on TikTok, on Instagram, and all that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram also. I do some same concept from Instagram, but a little bit different. So. I do post on there a lot also, so check that out. Everything in my Instagram will link down below. So if you want to check that out, do so. Do so. But my next year, don't forget to do all that stuff and everything. And hope you have a lovely day and night, wherever you guys are. Until then, bye.